Uh, the girdles we have seen the appendicular skeletal cyst after complete of limbs. Now we are going to discuss about the girdles. There are pectoral girdles, the thoracic area, that is have a four limbs are articulated, uh, the thoracic area, the girdles we call as pectoral girdles and pelvic girdles, there are two girdles are there in the human body. The pectoral girdle we consisting of like this, there is have a triangular shape of the body, there are two bones are associated to formation of a pectoral girdle, one is goes to collar bone, this is the collar bone will be there, collar bone and the back side there is a have a this type of triangular shape of uh, part will be there this triangular shape of part we call as a scapula will be there the scapula there is a have one spine the spine like structure will be there one more process will be there the process we call as acromanian process it is acromanian process just backwards the acromanian process and is the formation of a scapula it is gives the attachment of uh, muscles to attach the ventral side to perfect attachment will be takes place by the help of the scapula and the spine and one more is goes to coxygen process will be there. This in these cavity, coxygen process they attach it to the color bone in the front. The color bone, this here to the color bone will be there. The color bone is attached to the, the sternal area. This all be consisting of a coxygen process will be there. The remaining is goes to the we call as acromanian process. Next, uh, in this the cavity means uh, pectoral, ga ga pectoral gadil, they give the small cavity. This cavity we call as a glenoid cavity. In the glenoid cavity, it is a ball of the humerus. Ball will be, humerus will be lodged into the glenoid cavity. It's a formation of ball and the socket joint will be present here. It is articulated by the 180 degrees. It can be rotating by the such type ball and socket is permitted to the such type of movement will be there. This is about pectoral girdle. Second one is goes to pelvic pelvic girdle. The pelvic girdle there is a have a two off bones. Two off bones with formation of a uh, pelvic girdles. Pelvic girdles for example this is about uh, sacrum. This is goes to sacrum that has already we know that uh, five bones we fuse to formation of a sacrum last part we call as coccyx and coccygeals here coccyx will be there here uh, there is half of the part half of the part we formation like like this we called as a pubic bones we consider as a consider we called as pubic bones there is a have a pubic uh, pubic bones there are two of two equal of to formation of a pelvic button this is one of this is one of will be there it is attached to the sacrum sacrum is the vertebral part is goes to last distal part we call as sacrum is attached to the two equal half this is goes to ilium ichium is GM last one is goes to pubis the three location three parts will be there equal of it is goes to ilium ichium pubis the three parts will be there pubis the two bones to the frontal area to formation of a simple joint is goes to highly cartilage highly fibrous cartilage joint will be there this joint we call as pubic symphysis the joint will be called as pubic symphysis will be there this is about uh, pelvic girdle the pelvic girdle either side of pelvic girdle the gives to the accommodation of small cavity will be there the small cavity we called as acetabulum small cavity we called as acetabulum in the acetabulum it is large gives to the ball of the femur it is large here ball of the femur it is goes to larger here it is uh, I give the articulation of the attachment of ball of the femur is attached to the estabulum this is about pelvic girdle it is completion about uh, appendicular skeletal system okay the complete skeletal system we concern axial skeletal system appendicular skeletal system axial skeletal system is consisting of a skull and vertebral column and the sternum skull bones we how do we discuss about 22 bones we consider as a skull the skull again we call as a cranium and the facial bones second uh, cranium and facial bones are there remaining is goes to 
uh, vertebral column the vertebral column is goes to 26 bones are articulated to formation of a vertebral column vertebral column is consisting of a cervical vertebra thoracic vertebra lumbar vertebra sacrum and coccygeal these are goes to next we consider sternum sternum is consisting of a three parts head um, manubrium hair body and uh, xiphoid this goes to sternum remains goes to appendicular skeletal system limbs already we discussed about uh, how many bones are there in the limbs will be discussed now these are the girdles pelvic girdles and pectoral girdles these are the pelvic girdle these are the pectoral girdles will be closed now the appendicular and the, the uh, axial skeletal system appendicular skeletal system will be finished next we are going to discuss about joints